Well, today we're going to take a look at Indian Hills Golf Club in Harupa Valley, uh, California, which is in Southern California. And as you might expect with that name, uh, Indian Hills is all about the elevation changes. There are a lot of ups and downs and um, making some short holes longer and some long holes a little shorter. Um, the greens are about average in size, not particularly small, but they're not real large either. Um, so really it all boils down to the club selection and making the proper choice when you're going down to a green or up to a green. Um, you have to be aware of the, the firmness of the fairways and what's going to happen with a downhill shot that might shoot off a fairway onto the green and onto the back of the green, which can happen. Uh, and more importantly, and uh, harder to select, um, some of the uphills um, are pretty severe and require maybe more than even just one club to get up to the, the green, maybe even two clubs, depending on what you're doing. Um, I also want to reiterate that uh, this commentary is from the perspective of a very short hitter. I don't hit anything 200 yards anymore, so uh, most of the comments are in that vein. I'll try to throw in some extra comments about uh, for the longer hitters, but uh, uh, if you're a shorter hitter, older player, um, or a beginner, or a newbie, um, most of these comments will be appropriate. Um, at any rate, let's get to it and see what this course is all about and uh, take a look at uh, how it's going to play. So at 5,800 yards, it's not a particularly long course, so you'd think it'd be, uh, you know, sort of easy, right? But the slope is another factor, 122. That's, that's a little high for a shorter course. Uh, we'll find out why. Number one is a long par for 400 yards. Uh, for starting hole, it's pretty difficult, actually. And there's a valley down here that collects all of our shots, uh, making it 200 yards into the green, which we cannot do. So it really plays like a par 5 for us shorter hitters. Longer hitters can land on the plateau and have a chance at the green, but it's well protected um, by that palm tree in the bunker. The green itself slopes severely from left to right. You really can't see it here at all. Uh, a 5 on this hole is, is fine. I, I don't mind that at all. Hole number two is a short par four. Um, it's sort of crown. Anything on the left side will roll left and into those trees, which is a bad, mad miss. Anything on the right will roll into the right and those trees, uh, which is a, a better miss, actually. You can get there in two. Uh, but those trees on the left just cut out everything here. This is a, a two-tiered green uh, uphill. You're going to have to add one club to get there. The green itself is not terribly difficult, actually, for a two-tiered green. It slopes from uh, back to front. And a four is what I expect to get here. Nice par hole. Hole number three is a devilish par three. It's very difficult. It's a fairly long hole. You've got these trees on the right that just block out anything there. You've got bunkers left and right. Uh, you've got uh, two little bumps in front of the green that make it difficult to even roll the ball up if you want to try that. Um, it's just, just a very difficult hole to get the ball on in regulation. Uh, and if anything on the right side rolls way off to the right. The green itself is the trill trick. It's a two-tiered green sloping from left to right fairly severely. Much more difficult than the other one. A four here I, I'm happy with. Okay, number four, a fairly long par four, 379. Wide open off the tee, favor the left side a little bit uh, because your approach shot, uh, if you're on the right side, those trees can cut you off. Uh, it's pretty blind shot, really. You can't really see the, the surface of the green. Don't go right. Hitting on the left hill will bounce, can bounce onto the green, which is uh, always helpful. And it slopes uh, fairly gently from left to right. Okay, hole number five is a medium length uh, par three, and it's what you see is what you get kind of hole. Um, you can see it uh, bunkered uh, on the right, a small little grassy knoll on the left. Um, the green slopes gently from left to right. Uh, it's really pretty basic. There is a little frontage here that makes it a little difficult to roll up, but not terribly hard. Um, you really, you know, you expect to get a three here. Sometimes you get a four, but. Okay, number six is a longish uh, par four, but it's uh, usually a fairly firm fairway, and it's rolling away from you downhill, and sometimes you get wind in your back. So it's actually it plays a lot, quite a bit shorter. Uh, getting it uh, to roll down is, is uh, really healthy. You can get one of your longer drives here probably. And your second shot, you can hit it in front and roll it up onto the green. Uh, it is bunkered on the right, and that gets some action. But uh, I really hope for a four here. It doesn't always happen, but it's certainly uh, certainly possible. Okay, hole seven is a short uh, par for 
just get it down there in the landing area uh, in the middle, and you're going to have a good chance to have a short wedge uh, or at least a short iron onto the green, uh, which slopes from left to right. Uh, I really want a par here. This is definitely a, a par hole for me. Hole 8 is uh, looks like a short par 5, but it actually just seems to play long. I don't know why. It, it's, uh, it just does. Uh, fairly wide open off the tee. Favor the left side just a bit. Uh, the second shot is going to get you down here. And you, again, you want to favor the left side because if you go anything to the right, that eucalyptus there is going to cut you off, and uh, it'll, it'll make it very difficult to get to the green. This green is really hard, hard to read, and it's very difficult, especially with a blue pin. Red pin and white pin, not so bad, but a blue pin is disastrous back there. You can actually roll off the green if, you, if you're not careful. Well, hole number nine here is a very long par four. It's a par five as far as I'm concerned. All of us play it like it's a par five. You have to cut off the corner here. Uh, don't go in the lake, which you cannot see from the tee, by the way. You cannot see that down there. Aim for a house down there uh, and pick a good spot to get a good drive off. Your second shot is probably going to leave you anywhere from 120 to 80 yards in, something like that. And uh, just put on this green. It's fairly one of the larger greens, so pay attention to where you put it uh, with some sloping from uh, back to front mostly. Okay, hole number 10 looks like a short par 4, but you're hitting down into this valley from an elevated tee box. You can't go right because that uh, tree will block you off, and you have to go way, way uphill to this green. It's at least a club, maybe even two more just to get it up there. Um, very difficult uh, second shot. Uh, the green itself is not too, too difficult, uh, sloping gently from back to front, but the second shot is the tough one. Okay, number 11 really shows you what it's all about. It's that narrow throat on this par 3. It's not that long, but when the red pin presents itself here, those bunkers are just definitely going to cause problems. Very hard to get into that little tiny throat. With, um, and the slope is fairly, fairly strong uh, both ways here, but uh, it's all about trying to get it on, and it's not easy. Number 12, a short par 4 at 260. Uh, big hitters can get close to driving this thing. Um, a shorter hitters, uh, you're going to end up uh, with a wedge in here. Left side is actually preferred on the fairway here, a better angle. Right side is a little, little harder to get it onto that green. You're going to have a short iron or a wedge, uh, not a very big green wedge, makes it tough. Uh, you really want to get a par on this hole. Number 13, uh, 390, but it's one of those long holes that's actually quite a bit shorter. It rolls downhill off the tee. So if you get a good tee shot, we'll give you a, uh, you know, a longish iron, maybe a little fairway wood, onto the green, and, it, and you can get to the green. The problem is that if you land in front and it's hard, you can bounce it and it'll roll off the green and almost into the street. So be careful of that. It can definitely be a problem going off the green in the back. Fourteen is a very steep uphill, three hundred two uh, par four. It's uh, out of bounds on the left. You get the trees on the right, and you get the huge uphill that's really causing trouble. So it's a tough par four. It really is. Getting it on, even at only three hundred yards, is is really a difficult task. Um, the green is two tiered, fairly steeply uh, sloped from uh, back to front. So be careful. Okay, 15 here is an averages, average length par 4, or par 3, I'm sorry. Guarded by those trees on the right a little bit. They sort of get in your mind's eye when you're, when you're on the tee box. But really, they shouldn't be in play. Uh, it is a two-tiered green and well guarded by bunkers, as you can see. Uh, if you're uh, on the upper tier and you're putting down, you're in trouble. And it's pretty difficult when it's a blue pin in the back because you're putting up and trying to make the, uh, the good judgment on how it's going to fare on the putt. Okay, 16, elevated T. You're hitting way down in the valley. Uh, it's uh, almost 400 yards, but it is made shorter because it's, uh, you're hitting downhill, and you will gain uh, some extra distance on this tee shot. Your second shot is definitely uh, a possibility to get on the green, but the problem is uh, where the pin is on the green. And you want to favor the right side if you can because that bunker is huge on the left. A blue pin here is a really difficult spot. Red and white is okay, but the, the blue pin is really hard to get a, uh, just a two-putt out of this hole. Okay, 17 requires a fairly straight tee shot. The trees on both sides, you know, do uh, cause some issues. But this hole is really all about this green. It has uh, got a false front in the, 
in the front of the green. If you're on the back of the green, you can put it off the green. So you, uh, your second shot, you're better off being short of the green just a bit and chipping it close to the pin. A red pin is just devilishly bad here. Uh, it's a tough putting hole, really tough putting hole. Well, 18 is uh, 497, but it plays like it's 550. <laughs> you have to, a uh, little bit of a cut here off the tee box, try to get it out here in the fairway. Uh, your second shot is going to be a little narrow, but not terribly bad up here. You want to try to favor the right side to get it up to the screen. And you're going uphill all the way, just uphill, uphill. <laughs> it just really makes for a long hole. It's a tough finishing hole, that's for sure. So favor the right side. A two-tiered green, if you're on the wrong tier, you know, you get troubles. It's not too bad otherwise, but uh, it's, it's just a tough finishing hole. It really is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review of uh, Indian Hills. It doesn't get as much play as it should. Some people think, that, think it's a little hard. I really think it's a great challenge and a fun course to play. If you haven't played it, you know, get out there and give it a shot, see what it's all about.